Hey guys, Ivy here, and today I'm going to be answering some frequently asked questions about the Pencil 2D software. I've been getting a lot of questions about this, and I figured instead of trying to answer all of them, I would just make a video about it because sometimes animating can be confusing unless you know the right tricks to it. Um, I'm going to be demonstrating this with my uh, Scrafty animation. Uh, I do a series called Pokemon Dance, and so uh, the next up is Scrafty. So we're going to have Scrafty dance, and you're like, what? All right. Most of your guys' comments are about the disappearing of your own drawings. And the reason why is because if you can see down here, the slide that I'm on right now, it doesn't have a key. And to add a key, you basically click Add. And it doesn't matter where you are, you can add a key. But what people end up doing is, why is there a mustache right there? Oh my goodness. He is looking hella fab right now. Way to go, Scrafty. Give him a little monocle. There you go, bud. Okay. All right. We need to. There. See, it disappeared. Um, so let's say I wanted to draw, gee, I don't know, a mustache on Scrafty. Okay. So we're going to go over here and we're going to go, do -do 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 -do. Doodle, give him a little top hat, you know, kind of thing. And so, oh, it disappeared. What? Where'd it go? It's because you need to have this red zone right here selected on a key. And if you want to draw in a certain area, you have to make sure that there is a key there. Otherwise, you're drawing on nothing. And if you draw on nothing, that is very bad juju. You don't want bad juju. And it just pops up randomly which is the cause of your juju. The next frequently asked question was if there was a way to copy the layers so you, have to don't, you don't have to draw them each time. There are actually two ways that you can do this. The first way is to add spacing. Let's say we wanted to have this part go longer than the other parts. You would select uh, the keys and give them separation. Basically, from the spaces here, it's adding like more of a pause. So when you play it, there is a pause right where I made the space over here. That is one way to do it. If you want to add something differently each time, like say you wanted in this one to have Scrafty's eyes be open, all you have to do is copy it by selecting this key and moving over it, then go edit, copy. You don't want to move or touch anything at all unless you want it to be in a different spot. But I recommend that you leave it right here. You want to go straight down, add a key, edit, and paste. So now you have, and then you can click off if you would like. So now you have two of the same picture in a different spot. So if you wanted to add something different and have his eyes be open, you can you can, you know, open them, but, you know, who who wants to do that, right? Another question is, if you make a new slide, how do you make it so it's not faded? Okay, so what they mean is that it's faded now. This is not faded. If you can see down here, these are the different layers. Let's see if I wanted to add a color layer. Let's see if I, let me, okay, whatever. Let's say I wanted to add color to Scrafty, alright? So I give him his orange, his orange hair, or whatever. Oh, you give him his pants. It's now, when you click off of it, it's faded. That is because it's on a different layer. The keys are different than up here. If you want it to be on the same exact page, but you don't want to have to redraw things, like for instance, let's say I wanted to color Scrafty, but I don't want to have to redraw him. Boop, it just pops up. You have to figure out the layers of it, like which do you want to come forward. So what I drew came forward over the color, because I have it down here. If you want to see all of them at the same time, you need to add a camera layer. This basically shows 
both of the layers at once and this is you know what it would look like so if you were to play it it would it would you know look like that the tablet that I use to draw is a Wacom bamboo create tablet it was um, $200 on eBay. It's pretty much like a USB port. You plug it in to the computer and then it comes with a universal pen that allows you to draw anywhere that you want. It is also very affordable because it is often on sale. Uh, saving. You just go file, save as. If you want to save it as either a movie, then you would have to go export, and then you would need to export it. Come on, let me click. As an image sequence, or a movie, or a flash, whatever you want. These basically all do the same thing, but I use image sequence. So, what it does is it saves each and every one of these slides down here as a different picture. So I would have about 12 different pictures and I would have to put them all together in a different area. I have not yet found a limit to how many slides you can do. As far as I know, you can make as many as you want. And how do you make a sketch on it with another layer? And how do you get rid of the transparent background? All right, so a way you get rid of the transparent background is you can always go to preferences. This changes it to transparent, to white, to gray, to black, or to very small spotted. I usually have it on gray because when I draw white it doesn't really show up and I do white a lot so gray is like the least color that I use. That's one way to do it but when you're saving it as a final draft it will still come up transparent. So when you're saving it outwards when you're exporting it, it'll give you an option. Oh, okay, well, it'll give you an option and it'll say, do you want it as a JPEG or a PNG? And do you want to save it as a JPEG? Because then that will get rid of your transparency. The layers are meant so that you can have multiple things at once without messing up the previous thing. So a lot of people try to color in like this. Well, uh, look what you're doing. You're going over the drawing, and you don't want to go over the drawing. You want the drawing to still be there. So what you will do is you'll add another layer and put that above it. And when you add a key, what you do is you just color in where you want it. And it, no, it looks like I'm going over it, but when I lift up my pencil, it comes back. And when I try to view it in the camera layer, it shows that it is behind the pencil layer. So that is all the questions that I've had so far. I hope that you all enjoyed this um, answering session. If you have any more questions about how to animate in Pencil 2D, feel free to go back and watch the movie. I will leave the link in the description below. And if you have any other questions, go ahead and post a comment and I will try to answer it. Um, thank you all for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.